can't restore my wallet. I've lost access to my Cardano. Do I get it back? Let's find out. My name is Brian. This is Rolling in Crypto. And if you appreciate that we come to you every day with the best news and opinion on cryptocurrency, please like, please subscribe. Let's see if I got my money back. So I got a new phone and part of it, I had to restore my wallet. And one of the wallets I use is Yorai, which is a Cardano specific wallet. It's also the mobile version. Uh, there are some new versions out now that Cardano's got smart contracts, but this is the current uh, wallet that I was using. Yorai works simple. It's really easy. It's really great to stake your Cardano, but now I need to restore it with my new phone. This is the Chrome extension version of the Yorai wallet. I personally wasn't using it for my own Cardano. Uh, I only was using the uh, mobile app version. So when you create your wallet, you probably set up that 15 worth passphrase and you may not have understood just how important it is because that is your only way you're gonna be able to access your wallet in the future. And your right, being decentralized, there is no Chase Bank. There's no customer service to call that can just help you get access to your wallet. If you lose that information, you are going to lose your Cardano. So I'd already at this point restored multiple different wallets that I had. So I wasn't thinking any of that big of a deal. I simply put in my recovery phrase and then all of a sudden, boom, it didn't work. Now what do I do? I actually attempted uh, multiple times to see if uh, I had just screwed something up. Like I just put one word out of order, but I had no luck. And I was starting to freak out a little bit that all my Cardano that I had was going to be lost. We had an earlier video about staking Cardano to get ISPOs to get tokens pre-launch. So I had multiple Cardano wallets on your eye. I was able to restore them all perfectly. And then all of a sudden, the one that actually has the most Cardano for me personally, I can't get into. So what I found was BTC Recover. And boy, did this save my bacon. BTC Recover is an open source wallet password and seed recovery tool. And it does work. You can use it for a variety of different uh, cryptocurrencies, Avalanche, Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum, Dogecoin. I like to say that installing BTC Recover was easy, but it's not. Thank God I found an unbelievable YouTube channel that walked you through step by step. I'm going to put a link to the description. It's from uh, Crypto Guy. He was great. It's actually really simple following his instructions. And without his help, I would never have my Cardano back. Once you have it all set up, you have to type in a command that's going to figure out what your passphrase was. So there's a specific command depending on your wallet type. Here's the one for your eye that I used. And I'll put a link to this page also in the description. One of the key things that you're going to need to make this work is you're going to need an address that you had used with your wallet previously. And you're also going to need most of your passphrase. Like if you only have one or two words or none of it, this isn't going to work. This system really works best if you have like one or two errors or missing words from your passphrase. It's pretty good at figuring that out. Lucky for me, I, was, uh, I did buy my Cardano off Coinbase Pro. Then I transferred to the Yori wallet. So on Coinbase, I was able to access past addresses that I used, and I put that into the system. There are 2,048 words for that to be used for your passphrase. So you're going to need to have most of them to use BTC Recover. Once I ran this command with one of my URI uh, wallet addresses, plus I put in all of what I thought was my 15 word uh, passphrase instantly. There was, there was my passphrase and I was perfect. I had my Cardano back. So what did end up happening? I had screwed up when I had written it that I had terribly written an I that when I looked at it again, I thought it was a U. I'd actually written down my passphrase correctly. And if I would have understood my terrible handwriting for an I for a U, I would have gotten into my wallet exactly perfectly the first time, but it's a lesson learned. One of the best things now though, is I know that with BTC Recover, if I make a small error in my passphrase, I can get back into my wallet and I won't lose my cryptocurrency. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Rolling in Crypto. I hope you find a little comfort knowing that if you do make a mistake, you can get your money back. 
Please check out some of our other videos and enjoy.